Well, hey, and welcome to the video. In this one, we are going to be going over the interface for Affinity Photo 2. So if you're new to the program or unsure how to use it, this video will be perfect for you. Uh, I'm going to try to make this video informative and uh, fun. So let's get started. Now, before we jump into anything, I'm going to show you the version of Affinity Photo I'm using because they do updates a lot. Nothing ever changes drastically, but I just want to make sure we are on the same page. So to do that, I'm going to go up to the top uh, menu here. I'm going to click on Affinity Photo 2 and I'm going to click About. So I am running version 203. Okay, and one other thing, just to make sure your screen looks like my screen, I'm going to go up to the top and you can do this anytime if anything looks a bit weird when you're in Affinity, something's out of place or something's missing. You're going to go up to Window, Studio, and Reset Studio. Now what that'll do is it'll reset all your panels and reset your view back to the default. I usually, I don't customize my Affinity too much. I kind of like things the way they have them set up. I think it's good. I change a few things around here and there, but if you ever uh, do something, like if I drag this over here and I was like, I don't, oh, I want this back over here. I'm not sure how to fix that. Window, Studio, Reset Studio. It's gonna pop back into place. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's open a new document. Normally this happens when you launch Affinity. Um, I'm not going to spend any time or too much time on this because uh, I don't want I don't want this video to be too overwhelming. The only thing I'm going to point out here is a change from Affinity Photo 1 to Affinity Photo 2 is where you find portrait or landscape. So if you want your document to be portrait or landscape, it's right here. Okay, so I'm just going to pick this. It doesn't matter what you pick. Pick anything random and uh, just open it up. Click Create. Affinity just has these as um, sort of a, a quick way to get working by some standard sizes. So pick anything. Let's click Create. Okay. Now we got a document open. Now the first thing we're going to talk about is your tools. Now those are on the left hand side here. Now your tools are everything you can need. And, and think of them essentially as that. You go to a toolbox, you pull a tool for something you want to use, and then you swap it out for something else when you, you move on. Now, each of the tools, if you just put your mouse over top, it'll tell you what it does. So this is the move tool. You'll also notice a bracket beside it, and that's the shortcut. So you can either click on this move tool with your mouse to bring it up, or you could click V on your keyboard, and that will bring the uh, tool, move tool up. So all of them have a shortcut, which you can use. Now, again, if you just hover over top, it's going to tell you what each of them does. You'll also notice on some of these tools, there's a kind of a triangle in the bottom corner. And what that means is there's more tools in here. So if you click on that, you'll see there's a group of tools in here. And what Affinity does is if they think they're similar tools that may work together or be very similar, they group them together. So you'll see them uh, kind of grouped together with this little triangle down here. So you can click on that and see what's in there. So those are your tools. Now up top is your tool bar. Now you can do a ton of stuff in the tool bar, but you'll notice right now there's not a, a ton of stuff going on right now. But as I change tools, so I click on the move tool, I click on the selection brush tool, it changes up here and it lets me refine my tool a little bit more. So if you click through all the tools, you'll see at the toolbar things are changing at the top. And that's basically just to sort of dial in or narrow down your tool more specifically. Next up, we have the canvas. So your middle portion you're looking at here, if you import a photo or you're you know, writing text or adding shapes, this is where all your stuff is gonna be. This is your canvas. This is where everything visually is going on. And finally, to your right, these are all your panels. Now, the most important is the layers panel for photo composition, uh, anything with photo editing really, is your layers. Now, there's a bunch of other stuff here by default, which are all obviously, uh, they're important as well. And there's some effects and things down here and some other tabs, but don't let it overwhelm you. There's a lot of stuff going on, but it's it's really powerful and it's uh, you won't always use everything, but I just wanted you to get familiar with the actual layout. So to your left, you have all your tools. At the top, you have your tool bar where you can refine your tools further and work on some other options. In the middle, you have your canvas. And on the right-hand side here, you have your panels. Now, all of these things can be moved around or adjusted to how you want. I usually leave mine pretty standard. I like the way Affinity is laid it out, but anything can be customized. And again, I'll just show you. If I were to click on something and drag it out here, and I didn't know, like say I put it over here and I, I was like, I don't want this here. I don't know how it got here and I don't know how to move it back. You're going to go to the top. You're going to go to window. You're going to go to studio and you're going to go reset studio and everything is going to pop back into place as default. 
So I hope this video was helpful. There's more coming that are gonna be a bit more in depth. I just want you to get familiar with the interface. Don't let it overwhelm you. It's a super awesome program and we're gonna get really refined and really good with it. And I'll see you in the next one.